Hello there. Uh, hi. So I'm making a video because I sometimes make masks that have hair on them, full heads of hair. And the way I've always done it is I glue the hairs on, starting at the back of the head, the nape of the neck, and work my way forward. It's time consuming. It's difficult, and it's not something I enjoy. And I recently contacted NFT and got some samples of their stuff, and it's amazing, but it's expensive. And to hair a mask using their stuff would cost, you know, $400. So I wanted to come up with a way and to improve how I do it. So I just, here's what I came up with what NFT this is one of the samples they sent as you can see it's it's fabric and the hair is attached to it and you can you basically this piece can go on your mask you know so like if here's a mask you glue it on and you know many of them layered to fill the whole head up but it's you know like something like this is like fifty dollars just for one and i would need like 10 of those to do a whole head so what i did is this is a bad casting of my latest mask the sinister spinster and so what i did is the other day as a test i basically made a painted a square of latex and laid the hair some hair on it and let it dry, and when I peeled it off, I had this. So, and this is a piece of latex with the hair attached to it, and it's really on really well, and it's a full, you know, patch of hair that now I can attach this to a mask. So what I did is, for this particular mask, I broke it down into the uh, I think there's six different sections, and I got the measurements. If I can straighten this up. So, section one, two, three, four, five, and six, and the dimensions I need, 19 by 12, 19 by two, 15 by two, and so on. And I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pencil and, and a ruler and draw those shapes, paint some latex into those shapes, into those rectangles, let it dry, and then once it's dry, I put some more latex down and make custom-made latex patches with the hair, but make them on the table flat and let them dry for a day so they're completely dry. I don't want the latex to be still a little wet under that hair. Peel them off. You know, once I peel, I'll peel them off carefully, powder the bottom so it's not gonna stick onto itself. And then when I have the new casting of this mask, painted, I will apply the patches with contact cement or something, and instead of me having to glue on hairs a few at a time, I'll be able to lay these patches on this and have them overlay, and maybe it'll work. And then for the, for the edges, I'm going to tr uh, attempt to learn to hair punch, and I have a hair punch kit coming, but... That's another story. But for now, for the main hair of this, I'm going to try to make a bunch of custom-made uh, pieces like this. And we're going to see how it goes. Okay, so I painted my uh, six shapes, my six, you know, rectangles, whatever. Uh, I, you can't tell, but I marked them number two, you know, one through six to correspond with that head. Uh, and when those dry pretty soon, um, then I will lay some more uh, latex on them and apply hair, and I will show that in the video. All right, so I laid the first groupings of hair down, and I laid them onto the latex, and I painted some latex over the edges. I did all six, so I'm gonna let these dry, and when these are completely dry, uh, I don't know, an hour or so, two hours, I will then place another section of hair over these and latex those down. Okay, so now these are completely uh, laid up with hair, all the two or three layers of each. 
so latex is still wet. And a lot of this extra will be cut off. I don't need it to be that long. Um, because you can see the hair goes to here. So I can probably, when it's dry and I peel it off, I can take scissors and cut it right there. This one's not as bad. So I have all these. And this is enough to hair that entire uh, mask. Should work. So I'm going to give these 24 hours to dry. All right, it's the following day. And I think these are pretty much dry. Uh, this one looks like it's a little wet still. So I'm not going to lift that one up. But this one looks really good. So I'm going to remove this one. And we'll see how we did. And as you can see, it came off really well. I'm going to put a little bit of powder. On that. Because I don't want that latex to stick onto itself. So powder it really quick. Doing it with one hand because I'm holding the phone. All right. Okay, so there we go. So look at that. I have a completely, let me do it under the light here. It looks so good. And this was number, that was number one. So what I'm gonna do now so I don't get confused, is I'm going to mark it number one. Now, I know, and I'm just going to do this really quick, and it's not trimmed or anything, but this one was made to fit over here. Let me put this down. I can do it like this. So now, when it's, you know, and I'm going to trim all this, but now this fits here. And all the rest of them will go, you know, in their spots. And that seems like it should be much easier to hair this mask than doing a few pieces of hair, gluing it, and working my way around. Okay, so what I've done is... Let me move this over here. I removed all the pieces from the table. They're dry, I powdered them, I numbered them. And I assembled them on, I taped them on quickly, quickly onto the uh, bad casting with all the writing on it to see how it looks. And as you can see, even though it's taped on, it's not, you know, there's black tape holding the edges on, but they're all put on in numerical order and even though they're not attached permanently, they're a little fluffy, it feels, it looks pretty good for what it is. Well, there she is, Sinister Spinster. I decided to paint her more realistically, like Katherine Hepburn. She's based on Katherine Hepburn. So there she is, she's all painted, ready for hair. And here are all the pieces laid out, ready to put on her. As you can see, they're numbered. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And they will be glued on her and with rubber cement. And we will see how this all turns out. All right, so I've been rubber cementing. The back, oh, by the way, the mask is, so the mask is painted. I've been rubber, I already rubber cemented all the pieces. All the pieces are ready to go. And I'm rubber cementing the back of the mask. And then I'm going to apply them. All right, so I just put on piece number one. This is rubber cement, sticks to rubber cement. The rubber cement on this it's going to stick to the rubber cement that's already on there. So I'm just going to lay them down and overlap them. And I'm looking at this thing, which, you know, shows me approximately where they need to go. Hopefully this is all going to work. So this goes right under here. sticking good Number three this we 
shoe guard up right above the ears, like that. Good. Well, it's filling in the head really good. I mean, it's, it's going to have to be trimmed and styled. All right, well, she's completely painted, and I applied all the hair pieces, as you can see. Now, let me get around. See, the reason I like this, see, it's got this nice long hair now. It still has to be styled. And uh, also, you know, all these edges here where you see the latex pieces, I'm going to have to now... Um, glue on hair the old-fashioned way to cover all these and then to make a um, hairline and then I'm going to attempt to punch hair uh, after that that dries and also have to do the eyebrows all right so what we have happening here is <laughs> we have since the hair now that um, I put the pieces on I want to start laying some hair down on the hairline that is much finer because obviously those pieces that I made with the hair attached to latex have really hard rough edges which of course look ridiculous. So now, now that they're gonna, they were glued on this morning, um, I had a bunch of things to do but this afternoon I took the, since I want the hair to be, you know, going back, to hair this fine hair with the mask standing straight upward would have been fighting gravity so I figured it'd be smarter. So I have a styrofoam wig head in, so we can't see it, it's in there, and I have broom handle, so I'm keeping it, you know, keeping it like that, and I have these weights here that are keeping it in place so it doesn't shift. So then I could put some Mod Podge on the hairline and then carefully, you can't, I don't know if you can see that. There, hand lay hair going around the hairline itself, um, and it's still drying, that's why it's white, because Mod Podge dries completely clear. Now this is not the last, I'm going to do a little bit more, but I'm going to let this dry and in the morning uh, do some even smaller amounts of hair. I may even try to punch the hair. I have a hair punch kit that I just got the other day. I haven't really, I've just been experimenting with it. I may attempt to try it here. I don't want to screw my mask up. So if it doesn't work right away or I don't do it right, I'm just going to carefully do one more um, small amount of glue and do some hairs one at a time just to kind of make this, if I can make it a little more subtle. But it may look good when the morning when this is dry and it's clear, it may look pretty good, but you know, we'll see. All right, here's where we are now. So the hair that I put on yesterday is dry. I came in this morning and just added a few more, uh, this hairline and a little bit more hair by hand just to fill it in a little bit. And I added the eyebrows and as you can see, they're on, right now they're, the glue is drying, so they're not gonna be this thick. Once the glue is dry, I'm gonna pull away all the hairs that, you know, are extras that didn't catch any glue. This light is very harsh. All right, And the Sinister Spinster Mask is done. Here we go. Here's some shots of the hair. Walk around here. Came out pretty good. I mean, it could be improved. This is the first time I've done this technique. And uh, it needs a little, you know, I mean, okay. It's not perfect. But it's a full head of long hair. And most importantly, I think it looks really good from the front. She's very scary. So, hope everybody enjoys this video and if you can use some of the things I did in your own mask making, that would be great. Thank you very much.